safety check, obviously, uh, which I've already done. I'm not going to go through the uh, hassle of showing you how to do that. Um, because I feel as though we're all professionals here, we're all smart, there's no need to have to actually for me to show you me doing it. Um, so, you want to take the bolt, flip it back, like so. Then, you're going to flip the gun over, I'm going to try to do this with uh, one hand. And underneath there you can see that little lever right there, in front of the trigger. You just want to depress that. And flip it back over. And this is going to be magical. Whoa! The bolt comes out. So the second step here is uh, I'll spray the uh, the bolt down with some some cleaner. Let that soak in and do its job. You want to get all of the parts of the bolt. You don't just want to do this part or that part. So then after that, what we'll do is we'll take a brush and uh, clean it once that gets done there. So what I'll do is I'll uh, spray some gun cleaner on uh, on a brush. Before I do my action cleaning, I'll just brush in the uh, side here in the back just to make sure. And that brush to good use. And I'll let that soak in. I'll take the other part here. I got a little deeper. This is a nylon brush. This is not a brass brush. You clean your guns regularly out. Then use all right ammunition. I don't really see a need for uh, brass or what is it, bronze brass uh, brushes. So we got that clean. So what you want to do is you want to take, uh, remember this is, what I have is the Tipton uh, action cleaning kit, which comes with this rod and uh, these uh, cotton tampons. And uh, you basically just spray cleaner on the ends. I, I'm going to spray it pretty much on everything here, on this cotton tampon. And then, uh, slide it in like so. And that's going to clean. When you go into the action area here, you know, twirl it around to clean the chamber. So you see that it's flat again. Take it up in there a little bit. There's a couple. This isn't the easiest thing to use. And you bring it out. As you can see there. I've got some gunk in there. So, uh, I'll do it again. Now I'm going to use the mop that came in the kit. Spray a little bit of cleaner on that. I'm going to go up into the barrel chamber. I got some stuff off. Let's do it one more time. Alright, that looks good. This is a whole other piece right here, guys. This is a whole other piece with a threaded end which the mop goes on. So now I'm going to come back and move, I'll move these tampons and take uh, my brush which, like I said, I spray down with some cleaner on it. Now I'll go ahead and I'll brush this, this bolt down. Now I was going to tell you a little bit about the 722 rifle. Um, I've done research on it since I inherited it. I don't know, 10 years ago or so, and uh, the one thing I found about it, which I'm not sure if many people know, but the 722 Remington rifle has the strongest bolt ever developed. This bolt is the strongest bolt ever developed. Like I said, I'm not sure if many people know that. I know many people 
have their thoughts on things, but you can go to Remington's website and look up the 722 Remington rifle, and that's what it'll say. So, I want to make sure you clean out my face here. Make sure you get all that stuff out of there. Alright, so now I'll just put some, uh, cleaner down there and I'll spray some on the brush. And I'll fart again. I'll go ahead and This is a nylon brush that I just found. It's a uh, Ioso. Something on Midway. So we we'll use that for now. So I do a couple passes with the uh, with the brush. A little bit of a little bit of schmooze on that. I'll put this. As you can see there, got a some gunk. patch on and go backward. Alright, so on the bolt, <clears throat> I like to lightly lubricate it before I put some grease on it. I'm going to use some Militech 1. Um, just a drop, really. I'm just going to rub that all over the uh, bolt here. This is just a protectant, really. Yeah, so what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm going to take some Militech 1 and put it on the end here. I'm going to fart again. And then, uh, I'll just run it through here. Alright, so now we're going to uh, grease the the bolt. So the first place we're going to do is the back side of the locking lugs here. So let's do a little bit back here. And it really only needs to be just a tiny bit. And flip that bolt around. I'm actually going to use some of that came out of the tube when I opened it. Alright, the second place is the uh, the cocking cam here. And this is just a little bit. Then what we want to do is put it back in. So you go ahead and bolt back in. And then you're going to want to uh, bring out that uh, the locking mechanism for which is right there. So go ahead and bring that back up. And now the uh, bolt is not going to come out. So in this adventure, uh, the new thing will be the Melcom. Uh, grease and the ballast all. Um, and as you can see, the ballast all actually got more than the hoppies off. The last time I used hoppies, um, this time I used ballast all, and that's why I got off. So, obviously, there's something to that, uh, what everybody's talking about. So, the parts that were used uh, today was just a generic. Uh, 
uh, gun rod, uh, gun cleaning rod, and I use the uh, Tipton Action Cleaning Kit. That's nine dollars, and it comes with these little cotton swabs. I call them tampons. Um, a Tipton nylon brush. Um, I use the Milcom grease. And I use Militech on the bolt. Um, you don't really like to use too much on the bolt, I still use that. And the Ballastol uh, cleaner, which I actually like. The smell also is not as strong as the Hoppies, which someone else mentioned um, before. So we're going to see how that works. I'll take it out, see what kind of results we get. Um, but uh, I was happy with the Ballastol. It got more than the Hoppies did, which I actually cleaned it a week ago with the hoppies so uh, that's cool and it seems like the uh, the bolts a little bit um, smoother than it was before so I'm not sure uh, if there's anything on that we'll see uh, with some rapid uh, firing at the range next time uh, once I'm done with this I take a rag over it I have a Remington uh, gun cloth rag let me show you that It's a special rag that's impregnated with, uh, God, that sounds weird, impregnated. Um, it just has, like, I think silicon or UV protectant on it, but you just run it over everything on the outside. Um, that way, when you put it away, it's nice and uh, puts a little coating on it, so um, it stays nice and it doesn't rust. So I just run that over everything. Run that over that. So that's pretty much all I do. That is the 722 Remington rifle cleaning. This would go for pretty much any Remington 700 um, and pretty much every bolt action. That's the basics of uh, cleaning a bolt action rifle bolt out, clean the bolt, clean the chamber, clean the action, the barrel, all that jazz, and then I'll put it back together. Just like any other gun. Pretty simple. So until next time, guys. Later.